For this episode, I will be covering arguably the scariest plant of all. Yes, the thought of being eaten alive by the chomper is absolutely horrifying, but you can still anticipate it. With this plant, once you see it, it's already far too late. Vaporizing zombies may not seem like something a plant can be capable of, but that won't stop the doom shroom. Yes, I know the doom shroom. Suspense, okay? Doing massive amounts of damage for a higher price than the other explosives is the Doom Shroom's specialty. It can instantly kill anything up to a gargantuar, which it can't insta-kill, but still does an absolute ton of damage. The only disadvantages are that the Doom Shroom takes its sweet time to regenerate, and it also makes the tile you used it on useless for a while, leaving a crater where the Shroom once was. Due to the long recharge time and the fact that the Doom Shroom is a mushroom, the best plan of action is to do a nighttime level, as well as use the imitator to combat the long recharge time. So I started with a nighttime level with three flags and, well it went the exact same way as last time. I thought it would be completely impossible without some kind of divine intervention or warping of the space-time continuum, and then I finished it first try. I'll talk about it more in the gameplay, but I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. I guess I just underestimate the plants in my own ability to do these challenges. It's weird, but the more it happens, the more it seems like it's here to stay. The strategy is a lot like the potato mine episode. Stall as long as physically possible, then at the last moment, try to take out as many zombies as you can. While you're doing this, you have to plant many, many walnuts, tall nuts, pumpkins, and doom shrooms. So you're going to need as much sun as you can possibly get. Six columns may be slightly overkill, but you can never be too sure. After the first two flags, this becomes extremely easy. So easy that I just started planting daisy- I mean marigolds to pass the time. The imitator didn't seem that useful until later when the regeneration time started to actually be a problem. Just plant one doom shroom, wait a while, plant another, wait for the next wave, plant another, rinse and repeat. Even as I play this game, today, I'm still finding more and more insane strategies that actually work. I guess it's just a testament to PopCap that they really did make a game that acts as a perfect canvas that you can either paint delicately on or just bomb it. Yeah, this is going to be very hard. I'm not going to parade around saying how difficult it is because every time I do that it ends up being extremely easy. I'm probably going to use a very similar strategy to the potato mine. It's not the damage or the range. The problem is the regen time. I'm going to hear a lot of that munching noise. <laughs> First one. Actually, the regen isn't- it's slow, but it doesn't seem undoable. I might run out of usable tiles, which will also be pretty big bottleneck. Okay, if any of them didn't die, that would have been a massive problem. But, for now, I'm fine. This might actually just be a one-time thing. I can't believe this has happened. This is so stupid. <laughs> Every time, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do something way harder than the last, because there's no way It'll be that easy, but I might be jinxing it considering I just barely passed the first wave. I think these two rows are the, going to be the dedicated rows. Okay, we got a lot of guys munching. Yeah, see that wasn't within range of this guy, which is something I was kind of fearing. This is how the audio is going to be the whole time. Oh crap, that was I caught that kind of close, I forgot that the imitator has to turn into the thing. Oh, I should have waited for the wave, but it's too late. I think I might use this one as... Oh my gosh, what the frick? Oh, oh crap, that's not good. But yeah, it's just alternating using all of those tiles. Oh wow, that actually did take out all of them. I have 4,000 <laughs> I think I'll shovel this, and then I'll put one right here. There we go. Oh crap! No! That's not good. That's actually really not good. That's like worst case scenario. Oh crap, that guy is alive. All the time you need to be using things right when they're available. But there's so many things that you have to use right when they're available that you inevitably skip over some of them. And that can be what screws you over. Also, I can't actually spawn anything right now. That's not good. There we go. 
Oh wow, this is going to be so easy. I've already done it. <laughs> there we go! Just like that! Now you may be wondering why I would do something like this. I really don't have an explanation. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> With so much extra time, I decided to try I Zombie again. More I Zombie. <laughs> I'm gonna do it eventually. I think I can plant this guy down here and be fine, but I do not know. I cannot. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, 475 is not good. I just need to get lucky with this layout. That's not good. Oh! Perfect. Freaking perfect. Wow. It was all worth it. Just depends what spawns, because they're completely random. Yeah, I don't think this is doable. Well, it's only game over. I just died before literally the easiest level ever. I can reverse through every single one of those rows. Oh, no! Each time I get to, like, streak of five, it hurts even more. Let's see what I got. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh! Backwards potato. Gotta get more. Watch as Lucas spends all of his life savings on fertilizer. I can't buy any more. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's that. And with that, I have completed 9 of 22 plants. The difficulty for the Doom Shroom, I would say, is around a 5. Although I may have made it sound really easy, there's still a lot of setup, and once you get to flags 2 to 3, you have to manage all the walnuts and pumpkins, and if you forget about even one row, you could easily screw yourself over. But past those parts, it's really not that hard. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.